Hello everybody and welcome back to part 52 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, we were getting heart pieces in the last episode. Looks like we got a dog to follow us. So we're going to go ahead and get this last heart uh, compeaster. We have eight more to collect. And I know exactly where they are. Uh, this is the only one left that's exclusive to Young Link. There are two more that you can get both as Adult Link and Young Link and the rest are Adult Link. I'm going to go ahead and get the non-exclusive ones uh, as Adult Link, though, because you need the Gold Scale. If you're going to get it as Young Link, you need the Gold Scale, and you have to be Adult Link to get the Gold Scale, so I might as well just do that one. Um. But yeah, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Open the chest, and surprise, if you find a key inside, you'll be able to advance. Left or right, try your luck. Ten rupees to play, do you want to try it? Yes. You got a door key. Use this key to continue to the next room. Select the chest and see how lucky you are. So, normally this would be a gamble, but uh, if you have the lens of truth, unfortunately our little dog can't follow us. And if we use the glitch to look through the wall, we'll actually see that it's unloaded. So if we actually come back, the dog is despawned. But yeah, um, normally it would be a gamble, but the lens of truth actually show us which one is which. So if you get a rupee, you lose. You want to try to get the keys. So this is funny because this is the only time when you can use the Lens of Truth to look through uh, a treasure chest and see what's inside of a chest. All other treasure chests will just uh, look like treasure chests, just like this. So yeah, pretty cool though. Nice little mechanic. So yeah, we are obviously cheating, but it's pretty much impossible to do this based on luck. Except that it's not impossible, but... Odds are, you're not going to get this lucky. You have a 50-50 chance, and uh, I actually didn't count how many rooms there are. But yeah, remember that each room, it gets exponentially more, or exponentially less likely to get, um, to get it right. So yeah. Here we are, the gold room. So we can see inside here, even though it's not like a uh, gamble, it's the only chest in here, we get a heart piece. So let's go ahead and get this heart piece. So, cool, winner! You got a piece of heart, collect four pieces, and blah blah blah. So let's go ahead and count the rooms, because I'm, I'm actually curious, so, one, two, three, four, five, That's it, okay, so there's five rooms, which normally doesn't sound too bad, but we have a 50-50 chance to get uh, to get it right, so we do, uh, let me just you go to my calculator here, 0.5 to the power of 5, uh, so we have a, around a 3% chance to get this right, like 3.125, I think if I, did I do that right, let me just double check again, uh, so X to uh, 5. Yeah, okay. Double check. It is 3.125% chance of getting that. Which is pretty low. So yeah, if you're gonna do this, use the Lens of Truth. Because otherwise you'd only have a 3% chance of success. Great, you're a real gambler. So yeah. Uh, a funny little uh, Easter egg, I suppose. I don't think... Uh, actually, maybe it was in the inside. Oh, we got our dog back. Okay. Uh, huh. I, I think there's like a sign. I guess it was either inside or outside. Well, well, there's usually there, uh, there's a sign that says no lenses allowed. So, yeah, the reason for that is because it's totally cheating if you lose the lens, if you use the lenses. Also, I wonder why I was going out there because I said I was going to become adult link after this, so... Yeah, we'll become Adult Link, and then we'll get the last seven heart pieces. And um, without the guide, I already know exactly which ones I'm missing, so I'm going to go ahead and get those ones. I like how there's dogs just running around outside the Temple of Time. I thought he just froze for a second. Uh, the dog, I mean. But yeah, none of them go inside the temple, which is interesting, but it's also good because you don't just want dogs running around in a sacred building for no reason. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and become Adult Link and uh, get the other heart containers. Slash heart pieces, but four of them make a heart container. So we're going to get two more heart containers, but seven more heart pieces. So yeah. Alright, so the first one we can get is literally right next to a loading zone, or a warp zone rather. So let's just go ahead, put on our Dwarm tunic. Whoops, I messed that up. There we go. I was wondering why I couldn't think of like what I was doing wrong, and then I was like, you know what? I'll just try it slow. But yeah, so there's one on Death Mountain Peak. Uh, if we get this one, then that, yeah, that will be on, yeah. Anyway, basically this one's super easy. You just stand on the magic beam plant. Sounds like I'm trying to say magic school bus. But yeah, it'll just kind of float around here. Whoa! But yeah, don't overshoot that jump. Link looked like he disappeared for a second behind the smoke. But yeah, we get our heart piece right there. And now we're done with this place. The next ones are also located pretty much right in a warp zone. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the next three, actually. There's three in the graveyard that I missed. The Kakariko Village as a whole, including the graveyard, has a total of eight heart pieces, which is pretty crazy. But we collected uh, five of them. We just have seven more to go, or not seven more, three more to go. So this grave, I think, is the one we have to pull. Hey, get out of here. Anyway, I didn't know this at first, because we actually went into this grave before. But uh, all I had was a redead, so I just left. But what you're supposed to do is play the Sun Song, uh, which will actually summon a chest. If we, I think we have to play in this pedestal area, though. Ah, come on. Cheap shot, man. Alright, so I think if we play it here, we will um, get a chest spawn. Here we go. Oh. Oh yeah, so that also is pretty cool because you get to see that when a chest spawns in, it's technically, I guess the collision's like underground, and then it kind of just moves upward because you can see Link doesn't like teleport up, he gradually floats up. But yeah, we got a heart piece. You've collected three pieces. With another piece, your uh, life energy will be powered up. Now, I don't think it's this one. I think in the one we got the shield in, there's actually a hidden fairy fountain um, if you blow it up. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just see, just for the heck of it. I believe, yeah, it's this one with the flowers in it. The Triforce-shaped flowers. There must be some very special flowers. I guess they're not Triforce-shaped. It's just three flowers... Planted in a way that uh, is shaped like the Triforce. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, use the Megaton Hammer. If we smash this rock open, take a right, and there are some fairies. And now that I think about it, I actually didn't ever renew my fairies after finishing up the uh, Skulltilla quest. I replaced my fairies with uh, bugs. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we also have to get uh, the last bottle. I never actually did go and get that. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't remember where all the big pose are, but it's not too hard to find him. Basically, you just get all the big pose, and uh, you'll have another bottle. Anyway, the next heart piece is very easy to get. As long as you planted this magic bean, you're good. And as a matter of fact, uh, I'll even show that you actually don't need the magic bean plan. If you're standing on top of this grave and you have the long shot, you'll have an angle that you can actually just hook shot this box and you'll be right here. So just roll into the box and collect your heart piece. You completed another heart container. So now we have only four heart containers left. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can get all of them within the time limit. This one might be annoying. Uh, we have to race Dompe again. If you remember... Uh, this game, or just if you haven't played it and you've just been watching my Let's Plays, which is very unlikely. Um, we race Dompe to get the hook shot, but we can actually race him again. If we race him and complete his, uh, the race in less than a minute, he'll give us a heart piece. 
So yeah, he'll say the same thing as he said the first time. Uh, you know what, just for the heck of it, because I don't like red. I'm actually not a fan of red. I know some people say that red's their favorite color, but not me. Like, red's actually on the lower end of the spectrum of colors that I would prefer. Especially on my clothing. I would rather have, like... I'm like the kind of guy that would rather wear, like, black. Uh, but if there's a green or blue shirt, I would probably still wear it. Definitely not red, though. Anyway, so... Uh, we just gotta make sure not to get hit by the fire, that will like slow us down by a second. And near the end is when every second counts. There we go, we managed to barely evade that. He's gonna take a right, okay good. And on the left. And then, oh shoot, no 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 no. So that makes us lose almost two seconds, that's insane. And uh, right here, so what we gotta do is grab onto the torch and I failed. So what you can do to just speed things up is uh, either fall off, or in that case the door just ended up on us, or shut on us. So yeah, let's go ahead and not get hit by the fire this time. I'm really slow at aiming, I should really work on that. What, what, what is, that was dumb. Alright, let's see if we can get it this time. Are you serious? Come on. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, so we barely did it with the second left. It took me three attempts, actually no, four attempts, because apparently I couldn't aim a hook shot to save my life. But uh, anyway, we did it. The time of this race was 59 seconds. You're back, young man. Was the present I gave to you fun and useful? Anyway, so he's uh, gonna die, not gonna even tell us that he's giving a heart piece, he's just gonna give us a heart piece. But anyway, now we just have... Um, we should have, I think, what, two more? No, three more, right? Yeah, three more to go. So, actually what we're going to do first is go to the fishing pond. Alright, so we're back in the fishing pond. So, what we have to do is uh, talk to this guy. Hey, mister, I remember you. It's been a long time. How many years has it been? Seven years? What have you been doing all this time? You're my only customer. I'm almost out of business, seriously. On top of that, my hair... Uh, I mean, never mind. Well, do you want to go fishing? Costs only 20 rupees. Wow, you have a rumble feature. Okay, you're going to say the same thing, so we can just skip it with B. Yep, we understand. So generous, so I'll let you blah 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 fish. Biggest fish was 10 pounds. Apparently, you never tried fishing again, man. But yeah, so uh, what we're supposed to do is basically the same thing we did as Young Link. Just kind of aim near the center of the pond where the log is. Try to get that fish over there. Let's try to... Yeah. Aim kind of there. Huh. Okay, I guess we have to go further. Okay. Come on, fish. There we go. Okay, so he caught it. This is... I'm guaranteeing that this is the biggest fish. Like, just look at it. It's humongous. Definitely bigger than those puny fish over there. Although, by... Uh, because of the fact that it's the biggest fish, it'll also be the hardest to uh, reel in, so... Uh, if it takes me two attempts, well, darn. I'm sorry about that. Uh, just come on, come on, pull in. He's really fighting. Come on. Yeah, 
This is some really exciting gameplay. You know, it looks like there's a big struggle going on on screen, but in reality, I'm literally just holding R and A, and then back on the control stick. I'm kind of holding it to the left and right a bit to kind of help myself reel it in, but it's not really that impressive. I mean, I'm glad they didn't make it too complicated because this is supposed to be like a relaxing mini game, you know, not like a stressful, challenging one. But man, this fish is hard. I can't seem to get it any closer than this. Looks like it actually, no, we're, we're making some progress. Looks like we're actually scaring the other fish with this fish. I wonder if we get him on land, if that would be like an instant catch. Because he can't fight unless he's in the water. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, shoot. I feel like he got farther away. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's almost here. Come on. We're, he's right there. Oh, yeah. He's right there. Let's just yank him in. Just... There we go. Holy moly. That fish is bigger than Link. Oh, my gosh. This fish is gigantic. A fish this big can't even fit on the screen. And I can't weigh it accurately, but it looks like it's about 20 pounds. One well, way to break the fourth wall there. Talking about how I can't fit on the screen. But it's true, though. It can't fit on the screen. You want to keep this one, right? Oh, heck yeah. I don't want to undo all that work. It took like a minute and a half to reel that in. Alright, weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 20 pounds. Seriously! Okay, here's your prize. You got the golden scale. Jump in the water and press A. Now you can dive much deeper than you could before. Uh, if we try to leave, he'll scold us. Hey, hey, you can't take the rod out of here. When you quit fishing, return the rod to the counter. I'm serious. Alright, so we're gonna have to go ahead and do that. Uh, quit. And now we can leave. But yeah, so now that we have the golden scale, uh, there's one more heart piece that we get. Uh, this is the only heart piece that we are that we would need the gold scale to get since we're adult link the other heart piece that we uh, can get with the golden scale can actually just be obtained by using the iron boots um, only if you're young link would you actually need the golden scale but now we have the golden scale and uh, we can jump in here if we if I don't know if you guys remember but this guy will watch actually you guys probably know he watches you when you dive and he'll measure how far you dive so, let's go in all the way. You know what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and collect one of these rupees. So yeah, you'll see that a sound will trigger uh, when we touch the ground. And this guy will talk to us, he'll say, You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now! Fantastic! I'll give this to you! You got a piece of heart, you collected two. With two more, you'll gain more life energy. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water. Okay, so I think if we touch the bottom again, he'll remark how we should try to touch the bottom of uh, Lake Hylia. Find it how like he thinks it's impressive that we managed to dive all the way down there, but if we use the iron boots, it's not that impressive. Even though in real life, you should be able to. Sw nah, I don't know. Why am I talking about real life? Diving's the best in the world. Why don't you dive to the bottom of Lake Hylia? No, so that is actually impossible. You can't do that in this game. The only way you can do that is by using the iron boots, but that's not really diving. That's more like just sinking. I thought I played it right twice right there, but it looks like I had to play it two more times, or no, one more time to get it right. Oh, shucks. Opponent got stuck behind a wall. Also, fun fact, um, Epona can kind of destroy magic bean plants. If she touches one, it will explode into a bunch of grass, but fortunately for us, it regrows in a few seconds. There we go. So yeah, don't worry about actually destroying those things. I remember I actually got really scared the first time I found that out. It was by accident, and it just broke, and I was like, oh my god, did I just permanently break this? And it turns out, no, it just regrows. 
But yeah, so now there are two more uh, to get. They're both in Hyrule Field. Shoot, actually... Ah, I kind of forgot where one of them is. I'll go for the one I know for sure. And then I'll go for the one that I don't quite remember. Come on, Epona. Freaking weak. Don't get me wrong, Epona. I love you, but like, sometimes it can be kind of annoying to control. Anyway, there we go. Nice. Actually, I remember where the, the other heart piece is. It's actually right here. So, yeah, then the other one I remember for sure where it is. I don't know if it's that hole, or if we have to, like, hit another hole with the Megaton Hammer. I don't feel it, so let's just go ahead and, uh, jump in here. Why do I feel like this is not the hole that we're supposed to be in? This is just gonna be rupees, right? And then, uh, this is just gonna be... Rupees. And more rupees. Okay, so... But I know that this tree... Oh, shoot! It's not the tree! Duh! Man, sometimes, like, I really feel stupid sometimes. And maybe because sometimes I'm actually acting stupid. But it's actually right here. Um, if we use the Megaton Hammer uh, somewhere around here. Right here, I feel the rumble. Well, I feel the rumble, but I don't know why. Why isn't it working? Oh, maybe we have to use the Song of Storms. That'd probably work maybe no hold up okay I remember that it's here but let me look up actually how am I supposed to open this okay I was right to use the megaton hammer I was just hammering the wrong spot it's over here so, yeah. Anyway, we kind of get this really gross looking water. And there's a business scrub. That's right, we can't use the shield. Actually, you know what? We can just... We can hit him with a hook shot. That will also work. But yeah, if we talk to him, he'll kind of get... He'll, yeah. In return uh, for sparing me, I'll sell you one piece of heart. One piece, ten rupees. Alright, I'll take it. Ten rupees is actually way better. The one in Majora's Mask would sell it to you for like... 150 rupees. 200 at first, but I think he'll give you a 50 rupee discount if you say no. Thank you very much. Piece of heart. Now you've collected three pieces. So yeah, we have just one more. Also, he's gonna drop three rupees or three hearts, depending on whether we have full hearts or not. But yeah, we got three rupees. So that's actually really nice. We actually uh, got pretty sweet deal. Only 10 rupees for a piece of heart. Anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next heart piece, which is just on the other side of the field. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, we should see a big Poe actually spawn in right about now. Anyway, yeah, right here. I could kill it, but I'm actually going to wait till the next episode to actually get all of the big Poes. And I don't want it to be, like, disconnected. I want it to flow rather smoothly. So, there's a lone tree that looks kind of dead here. Uh, actually, they're all kind of dead. As Young Link, those trees out in the distance over there are green, but this one is the only kind of decaying brownish tree. But yeah, we use the hammer. And there we go, we got ourselves a hidden grotto. So, yeah, I'm just going to kill that tech type. Uh, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and... Uh, There we go. We could use the iron boots to get this, but since we have the golden scale, might as well use it. Right, it looks like we have to go forward a little bit. There we go, we got it. You got a piece of heart, you completed another heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased. And there we go, we've collected every heart piece in the game now. So, yeah. Uh, I guess with that, we have... Very few things left to do. Matter of fact, I think the only thing we have left to do for real 
is just get the last bottle. After that, I really don't know um, if we're missing anything. Got Max Quiver, Max Bomb Bag. Uh, we got all these, all the Skulltillas as well. Yeah, I think we're set. We just need to get the last bottle, which I'll get in the next episode. And then we'll be... We just have to kill Ganon, and that will be 100% completion of Ocarina of Time. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.